Hello everyone. Today we will be accessing a target machine using PowerShell remoting. So it's a step by step process. Uh, in the first step, we have to enable PowerShell remoting in the target machine. So we'll go to our server where we'll run the enable ps remoting force command. So let's try that. And it is done. So now what this command does is it actually enables Windows management instrumentation and opens PowerShell remoting for this machine so that we can uh, actually uh, run PowerShell remoting from another machine. And uh, we will go from here to our testing machine. So it's a Windows 10 machine. So here we will run our second command, which is uh, we will actually collect the credential in a variable. So let's run that. So this machine is under Zaidi domain. So, so we'll have a go with the username and password. So now, uh, under dollar sign user credentials variable, we will have uh, the remote machine's credential. So now we will uh, uh, store uh, the remote machine's uh, session object in in another variable. So uh, this is uh, this is the new dash ps session uh, cmd let, which will have uh, some. Uh, parameters that is computer name that uh, we are we are connecting and the credential that we will uh, put uh, from the above uh, variable that is user credential and uh, the output of this command uh, will be uh, stored in uh, ac variable so let's run that command So under AC, we will have the objects of new dash PS session command. Next, we will actually run the PS session uh, command, which will uh, which will connect uh, PowerShell session to our domain controller. So let's see. So now you can see uh, SRV dash AD zero one which is our domain controller machine that we want uh, we wanted to uh, communicate through powershell so if we run um, hostname we will actually see the hostname srv ad01 and if we run ipconfig all uh, we will see the ip configuration from the local console of that machine which is uh, srv ad zero. now we will uh, run the same command uh, to show you that indeed uh, we have uh, connected the remote machine using a powershell session so let's run the hostname command if i can type properly It is showing that the server name is the same that is srv ad one and ipconfig all which will surely prove that we are in that machine thanks